take two. Uh, uh, yeah, so as I said before, on the previous 4K stream, <laughs> which was insane, I'm going to watch the Alien Romulus trailer. I'm going to check it out, live reaction. I haven't seen it yet. Uh, so we're going to check out Alien Romulus trailer. We're going to have a little chat about it. Uh, oops. Put that down there. Let's put it there. And that's about it. So... I'm just going to, I think I'm just going to get into it. I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to check in with my, uh, uh, check into the Discord, see who's on. I think Zool might be joining us once again. Uh, so that'll be good. Let's put this in black, bloody streamer mode. Oh, it's already done it. Uh, voice and video. Test. Oh. Test. <laughs> Yeah, very good. I hope you don't hear Discord sounds. We're good. I'm trying the Discord thing out. Uh, it was. Uh, it, they said there was a new beta beat feature in OBS, so it could just do the audio from a program. So I'm going to do that, and we'll see what happens. Because if I play the trailer, I don't want the trailer's audio, so I'm going to disable desktop audio, but keep enabled Discord audio in the new beta feature. We'll see how that goes, folks. Right, let's get. Let's jump online. Ooh, Alien Romulus. A new alien film. Can you believe it? Yes. Uh, fuck it. Yeah, balls to it. Right. Uh, should, I, should, I do, should I tag? Should I ping everyone in the Discord server? <laughs> Nobody likes pinging everyone in the Discord server. But mm, I could do an at here. No, I won't. I'll just leave it. Well, no, I won't. Yeah, no, I won't. Fuck it. Uh, Join the voice chat if you wanna. Fuck it, I'll do. Uh, right, I'll just leave that. So someone might join in the background if uh, if you can hear them. If you can't, I will soon find out because I've got. Oh no, wait, desktop audio. Oh, this is gonna be a problem. <laughs> This is going to be a problem. Anyway, right, so. Let's jump over here. Yeah, I don't know what, I don't know what we expect with this alien Romulus, I have to say. Sounding like it could be a good one. And right up until about three days ago, I was like, yes! This is it. This is going to be. This is going to be. This is going to be a stellar alien entry for the books. But then I saw some leaks about the film and certain things that might be in it and who might be in it, and I was like, mm -mm. didn't. I didn't like it. Didn't like the sound of it. So yeah, this this trailer reaction could go either way. You could see something joyous. You could see something, something bereft of all joy. It's it's one or the other. I'm afraid that's that's a, that's how it's looking tonight. It's one or the other, so get ready for that. Let's jump over here. Uh, let's grab this link. Um, yeah. Uh, wait, what? Oh yeah. Bloody hell. What 
Romulus. I didn't expect it to actually stick with that title. I think I didn't think they were going to, but then they were like, they must have just not had out else. Romulus, an interesting title. Uh, I guess it kind of fits with like the Prometheus and the, the you know it's the classics, it's it's ancient history and shit like that. The Covenant. Uh, view your channel. I'm literally just trying to find a bastard link. So, there we go. Share. Copy. Actually, this isn't what I want to do. I'm trying to get the link on my fucking phone. Do it through this. Where's the tunes? Just enjoy these tunes while we're getting set up. Getting ready for the Xenomorph excitement. <laughs> uh, there I am. Uh, let's grab this. Share. Stick it in the WhatsApp. I guess I'm just gonna to go to YouTube and pull the pull the trailer, watch it through there. It seems alright to me. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna show it for you because I, I don't want to deal with that. I was thinking I could record this and then put up like an edited version, but who needs two fucking videos for a trailer reaction? I'm just gonna do it raw. I'm just gonna do it raw like this tonight, Romulus, and then we'll uh, put that to about. Fuck off. Three. Right. Oh, we've got Big Shark in the chat. He says, hey, Sicky. Hello, Big Shark. Dino Manzul. Halo. Oh, this is Alien. <laughs> Jurassic Collectible says, hello. Much like the labyrinth from... The, the, the worm from Labyrinth. I said that last week. Last month. Ank Club says, hey. New face. Hello, Ank Club. Uh, alien note protection yeet ant club hey all right great well we've got some people in the in the chat so yeah what zulu you coming on this are you coming on or what are you coming on or what That sounds alright to me. Uh, who, who was even releasing this film? Fox. 20th Century Studios. Bloody hell. Uh, let's just go 20th... 20th Century <laughs> Studios. YouTube. I wasn't prepared for this. Alien Rombulus teaser... Oh, it's just a, t just a teaser trailer. Oh well, fuck it. Right, so. Let's turn the music down now. Right, I've, I've got the trailer up here. 1080p. It's only in 1080p. That fucks me off, that. This is what you're selling people on. You're selling the the world on your, on your brand new top of the range movie that's just come out. Is about to come out, and you're only up, you'll upload your trailer in 1080p. You can do 4K. It's like video game trailers now that are like 1080p, th fucking 30 FPS. Video, no video game footage in 2024 should be on YouTube in less than 60 FPS if the game supports it. And likewise, if you what are you doing releasing movie trailers in 1080p, you fucking blocky compression on YouTube. Honestly. 
Zelfa. Zelfa de Zebras is when exactly you're going to watch the trailer. I'm about to watch you momentarily. Momentarily, Zelfa. Like last time. Come inside and meet the missus. Send you on safety, all right. Uh, do you think I could just play the trailer with the audio? Does it, Will it matter? Because then you'll know what part I'm at. Uh, who's just joined the chat here? Oh, it's Zool. Hey. Hey. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to do about this. I'm just going to... I think... Oh, uh, fuck. It won't... If, if, if it's <laughs> a trailer, it's not going to get, like, dinged, is it? Because the audio's... Everyone's watching these trailers. Um, I'm not entirely really sure, because Jacob... Well, not Jacob. Jack actually watched that uh, in his recent live stream. I'm not entirely sure how, how it's going to be. You know, I don't know if they're going to take oh, it down. Oh, let's do it. I'll just watch it. I'll just watch it. Uh, fuck it. Yeah. I'll just put it. I'll put it quiet enough to the point where it's like, just so you can hear where I'm at. It's like getting. You can hear where I'm at, but it's not going to be like. Hopefully, it won't get picked up. No. Yeah. But I'm not. I don't expect some f fucking amazing reaction because I'm not going to be like. Ugh! You know what I mean? I'll just be like, all right, nice. I don't even know why I'm doing this. To be honest. <laughs> right. Uh, <laughs> right. Let's be quiet now. Alien Rob, this is a new Alien oh, film. I mean, it's always a rush. You can't deny it's always a rush, even if the film is... Chances are, I ain't gonna like it. But it's always a rush. A new Alien film. 2024. Let's fucking... Let's get it Let's get it mm. done. Let's get it done. Are yeah, you ready let's to see. go? Let's see how it ready is. ready to go, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah. All right. Right, I'm pressing play. Let's go. Uh, let's go. It might be too loud, I don't know. Is, what's this like? Let me just... I'm gonna play it, and then I'll have the audio level. Uh, that seems alright. The director of Don't Breathe. Right, shut up now. <laughs> Here we go. So hopefully you'll be able to. Right. Play! Uh. Oh. Oh, I heard the classic alien, alien noise. Yeah. Very good. So far, so good. We've got a claustrophobic corridor. That was that was that was a right. fucking anti climax, wasn't it? I thought it was gonna be like a three minute bastard trailer. Bloody hell. <laughs> it's a little bit too early like, for that man. Just give him a little bit more. <laughs> I mean, right, first let's just first know. thoughts. Let's just do first thoughts and then we'll watch it again because there's not enough content there. Not enough content there. Yeah. Uh <laughs> talking like a true YouTuber. Visually, I think it looks <laughs> I think I think it looked quite good. I like the add the uh, classic Nostromo claustrophobic corridors. Mm. Pretty good. Yeah, I like the. Uh, I definitely like the uh, the gore effects. Like uh, there, there was know, some the blood. Inclusion there inside. was some blood. There was a there was a weird some tube coming it... out of someone's like that. That was pretty sick. Yeah. I, Although I, I heard Jack said that it was a, a face hugger or something. I was like, oh, a, is it a face hugger, a face hugger <laughs> coming out know. of someone's mouth? I mean, the the, fa the face huggers like uh, they have like a little, a little bit more of a tube for their mouth to insert the eggs inside the other pe people's mouth, mm. right? Uh, is, oh, is, is it that part of their the biology? ovipositor? Yeah, but it looked a bit too thick for that. The girth yeah. on it, man. Like, it was like <laughs> it was like a full. I, I won't mean, do a gesture, but you know what uh, I mean. Uh, yeah, that was kind of a that was kind of I a mean, fucking a nothing burger, as far as I'm concerned. We like I know it's just setting the scene. Mm -hmm. There was no story stuff, but. We've got some. We've got a bunch yeah, of kids. I mean, United United yeah, Colors of Benetton and, running from aliens. Uh, <laughs> yeah, looks. I don't know. It's too early to even judge on that, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. We. 
I mean, at this point, we don't really know any, anything much of it, uh, other than the visuals. I think we we could get, you know, the visuals definitely give us a little bit more of a really really scary sort of vibe, more than what we actually see in the other sort of uh, alien movies. Yeah, it was it was and the freaking, it, like Prometheus is very like. I'm not gonna remember. Oh, this is I might just be remembering it wrong, but it's very airy and light, isn't it? And like Co Covenant and stuff is very airy and light. Obviously, there is darkness to it later on. That was all. That was clearly yeah. very. We are doing alien is basically what it was saying to me. Uh, the grunge, <laughs> the grunge, it the dark tech, the the shadows, the claustrophobia. It was a lot of that. A lot of face huggers, a lot of CGI face huggers running about. Uh, did we actually see an alien? I don't think we yeah. did, did we? Like a, a xenomorph. The, the last part, yeah, before the uh, title card comes in. Hawkins. It's like just a split second. James, fucking burp. Yeah, but James Hawkins is in the fam is in the <laughs> is in the family. I'm very very tired. I have to say, I was actually gonna call this off and just go to sleep. <laughs> I've been around my sister's house, sanding floorboards. I'm like, honestly, I feel like Tom Tom Hanks in Saving Private Ryan. I'm like that. I've got the fucking shakes. I've got the white knuckle shakes. <laughs> like that. You should see my knuckles. That's like, like I've been bare knuckle boxing. Sure. So I'm very fatigued. Sure. James Hawkins is in the chat. He says, sicky bro. Film looks sick. My type of era. My type of era. Yeah. Well, it's just, yeah. Yeah, so it's set between the first one and the second one, which is a, a, all right. Mm. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we we got to we got to see a little bit more of it to actually understand like how it kind of you know fits in with the freaking uh, canon well, sort of yeah. situation like how it will happen because this is before the um, oh the, the the hive thing in the, in the second alien movie right where people don't really know that the existence of the the aliens themselves like people don't have no recollection of what xenomorphs are or what the face augers are until. Alien Two, which was like what a uh, hundred years after Alien One, uh, I don't remember. Something like that. Something like that. Yeah, it's, 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 it's the whole hive, the nest, the ant, ant nest type feel. Like that, none of that is ever evident in in Ridley's films. There's no mention of the Queen. There's no mention of like what lays the eggs and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. Which I, I've always had a pet theory that he still just disregards that. I've never seen Ridley talk about the, it, James Cameron's Alien Queen. I've never seen him reference it. As far as mm. I know, there are some little weird design things, like the poster's got the the crest, the carapace of the queen on it, but he didn't really didn't do that. I don't know. It's it's interesting. Mm. And of course, we know is he thinks David like we see David building it and all that stuff. You know, which way is this film yeah. going to go? Are they going to be created? Are they going to be laid? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just interesting because I thought this. I thought Romulus is just going to be a continuation of uh, Covenant and just continues on. I mean, technically it is, because it's like the prequel, right? Uh, Co Covenant is like prequel. a prequel of Alien, well, therefore... It's, it's, a, it's, a, yeah. it's a prequel with a preceding film. I think they're called the interqu interquels. I don't think that's actually like... That's trying to catch on. They're called interquels, I believe. I don't know. But yeah, a prequel in the middle that, of some others. That. I'm going to watch the trailer again just while we're here. That, that's quite confusing. Let's give it another go. Here we yeah. go. Spaceship. It looks like Saturn. So there's a space station. <laughs> yeah, there's a hallway. Spooky, I mean, the spooky. Like, like that, that right, shot, yeah. the second shot of the spooky corridor, that's like, that's alien in it. Yeah. The dark corridors and just some little sort of light leaking in. It's really nice. I, re I really like the uh, gore inside the pod. I don't know, it's just... It's it kind of creates its own story in that Yeah, part. someone's been killed in a pod. Um, yeah. People running. Mm. He looks like a robot, that geezer. <laughs> but Ash? That's... Yeah. That Kaylee Spenny, Spenny, Kaylee Spenny, Kaylee Spenny. I quite like that actress. She was in Devs. Alex Garland's devs. She was fucking great in that. Yeah, no, there's a shot with this. There's a geezer. It turns around to look. It's like very slow. He's just stood like monolithically and the lighting slowly lights up. I think that, I think that cunt's a robot. An android. Oh, there were... 
with the flickering lights That's in the, the background, one. where it's just like centered in frame. Oh, okay. Uh, it could be. Yeah, I mean, I mean there's be, no yeah. hint of the thing that I was concerned about, so I don't know if I should say because it might be a spoiler for people. So I'll just keep that quiet to myself. But uh, yeah. All right. I think it makes sense too. Yeah, I mean, it looks. Yeah, I'm just going to zip yeah. through it. Yeah, corridors, lighting, spookiness, screams. Nothing's, nothing's make, yeah, making me it... go. Nothing's blowing my mind, you know what I mean? Other than the girth of the uh, face huggers. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> oh, Very young cast, isn't it? I mean... Oh, yeah, I think I've heard about people talking about that. Like, uh, they were not really, like, hooked on the uh, younger cast sort of thing. I don't know. I, I, I mean, we'll just have to see. It's probably understandable because the younger cast don't have that sort of... Uh, you know, like a experience inside the movie industry yet. Therefore, I don't know. They, they That's just true. haven't sharpened the skills. Yeah, I, I understand, but we have to see first how they're gonna actually hold it up. Who knows? Maybe they're be, like yeah, they gotta super get, gotta good. Get, I mean, uh, Sigourney was like pretty much unknown. She'd only done theater when she did Alien, so it's it's the same sort of thing, isn't it? They just to my eyes, they look younger. I don't know why they don't. But I guess everyone looked kind of old in yeah. the seventies, didn't they? That's the kind of deal, but. Yeah, yeah. The corridor, the big. <laughs> there's a big, wide, white corridor. And there's a shot of them running down. That looks like the medical level from uh, the hospital from isolation. Uh, is it the one with the face huggers? It's just after that, the big white. Oh. I just have so. Oh yeah. So I'm piecing uh, something together. That those the, the dark yeah, yeah, yeah. Nostromo like corridors must be the ship that they arrive on at the start of the trailer. The big white ones. Or on the space right. station. That looks like the Sevastopol. It it just makes sense. Uh, oh, I haven't, I haven't played uh, Isolation so far. I don't know, but I know a little bit of the oh, story. I love, I love yeah. Isolation. Man. I mean, what is that? Oh, it is a yeah. I mean, yeah it's it, a face hugger. I can see it's. I can see its legs. It looks like its tail though. Yeah. Unless it just has. You guys hear me? Oh, yeah. yeah, all right. Unless oh, yeah, it just has a. a bit, yeah, it must just be its the ovipositor. But it's. I just yeah, saw the trailer. Is. What what's yeah? What do you think? think? Very, very fucking safe as I predicted it was gonna be. <laughs> yeah. Of course it is. It's yeah. Yeah, it's a budget film too. I could really tell it was. I mean, it looks good. It looks nice. It has that. Yeah. It has that. It has that lingering car smell, but. Lingering I don't know. Car? It's. A Disney movie, for sure. Yeah. No, it, yeah. no, 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 like it literally looks like Disney's Alien. I and mean, that's... I don't know. I haven't seen it that much, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like how Prey was with its whole it's thing. It. Like that's how it kind of feels to me, and that's not be just because their protagonist is gonna be yet a, a another female. It just it looks like. It, it looks like something that the Disney company would endorse. I mean, so, that's, no, that's like uh, actually bought twenty. There's an parts. escape. There's a shot of an escape shuttle like getting exploded and a little oh, bit. You, wow, that looks familiar to me. That must be some a design from Isolation. Yeah. Or is it? I don't think it's an alien. It's not an alien. Yeah. It's. I don't think it's an aliens. Uh, the, it's the, like, uh, it's like, uh, the 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 don't breathe director. Yeah. Took heavy inspiration off of isolation and aliens and alien. Uh, yeah, like like that's pretty much what he's trying to do. He, he's trying to make his own alien. This yeah, the, um, again the set the set of this look literally like levels. Like I can see, I can pick out the architecture that is just the medical labs and the the staircases. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what I just saw. Like when I was watching, Smart, I'm like, it, it, it's from this part of the, it, it's for this part of the game, or uh, it's a part of the Nostromo. Amanda Ripley. In what it. she used the Nostromo sounds. Oh yeah, there is a big alien at the yeah. end. I don't know. I forgot about that. Uh, I mean, it is interesting what you pointed out. It's like a uh, alien isolation, but I mean, not but, but isn't is alien isolation is basically like a, a spatial containing some of the characters going to like an abandoned huge special yeah, it's, it's, it's like it's Ripley's daughter Amanda Ripley going looking for a mother right, and finding yeah. out what happened and she goes to the Sevastopol 
which is a big a big space yeah, station. Abandoned, right? No, it's just it's in yeah. it's in a it's a big collapse has happened, and obviously the alien is loose before uh, you get there. So it's when you get there, it's like a big it's like a big haunted house basically. It's a uh, it's 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 empty. Yeah. The light, the power's failing. You have to run around, turn power back on, open doors. You do encounter other survivors, but um, right. yeah, it's 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 good. Which I love like that. I love that game. Tipped off. But this does. Yeah, it's yeah, like even the main like character, like she looks like it. she kind of looks like Ripley two point oh. Amanda, <laughs> Ripley, Amanda Ripley, the daughter, yeah, more so. <laughs> uh, I mean, well, I it could be this. Yeah, point. a lot of face huggers. Yeah, that's, well, I a lot of face huggers. That was what they were trying to sell: is that there's going to be a swarm scene or whatever, and it's going to be brutal. Mm. And I was like, okay, but, or whatever. I, I mean, it's the guy from Don't Breathe, which yeah, there's a lot of them. You know, his work is not bad. It's, it's kind of cool seeing him move like that. He's very, uh, he is, he, he's very up and coming. I've not seen any of his films. So, 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 so. so. <laughs> the safe approach, though, is why. Is more so likely why they got him, mm. right? Yeah, because his concept don't don't like don't breathe made a lot of money, right? Like, I'm not too sure about the sequel. I didn't see it. Uh, it was from the same like, thing. Uh, sequels like yeah. some, anti, <laughs> some low low gravity antics. It looks like uh, people getting thrown about. He definitely has the personality to to like direct the alien film though. So whatever it's. I mean, some dark scenes. It looks like it's just going to be like. I can totally see the positivity that people were having when I'm being like, I can't, I can't, him being the director, good choice, but. Yeah, I sort of had a feeling that like this was going to be its own. Ralph. The thing. Ralph is in the chats. I found the trailer very meh. Doesn't look bad, but it doesn't look great either. Yeah, that's kind of it's kind of. It doesn't sell it's like it. what the kids it say. It's anything. mid. It's mid. What the kids say. Hey, um, Empress Indus- Industries yeah. is in the chat. It says, "Hey guys, the director explained in an interview the character's age is related to the story he's telling." Hmm. Very interesting, Mister Bond. Was like it could mean. be like it's probably going to be like. Uh, well, that just that clearly means that she has to be someone's daughter. Hmm. Doesn't just, it? I don't know. Then. Probably, yeah. But I'm thinking about it's gonna be like an intern sort of. Something. But it can't be. There was a leak. To... Yeah, I don't know if we should. Oh, the no. plot for this movie. We're, leaks, not, we're not doing like, the leaks. Not just too long ago. Just, oh yeah, yeah, just yeah, not... yeah, 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 yeah. Like, no, I'm not gonna talk about it. Way, yeah. way too much. Like, buddy, oh, the leaks was... came up or whatever. You can't like apparently to, like there's a lot of. There's some supposed truth to them, even though I doubt it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I was if it's if it's the same the leaks I heard, I was massively turned off about it. I was like, oh, I was oh like, no. yeah, no, thank you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. but yeah, Jeff, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. I I really doubt that's gonna happen in the this one, just from what I saw. Now, like, I, no, I don't think so. And if it does, well, the Disney. Was bold enough to at least it's do something at least a lot more interesting it's compared just to fucked Prey. Up. I'm sick of that shit. Like, I, I, you know what I mean? Anyway, let's not. Let's not. Yeah, I, guess I have it. no idea. Yeah, what's well, let's just leave it at that. <laughs> no, uh, good nothing, Mill. It's just, it's just. Well, there's no evidence of it in this. So... Uh, the alien resurrection. True. Yeah. Alien resurrection on a finer scale. Is what they're trying to say. But alien anyway. what again? I'll check that it, link it, out, what? Empress, in the, uh, after this. The directions are more secure than the movie. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, 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 we'll, yeah, yeah, we'll talk about off screen. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what else to, <laughs> yeah. to say about no. it. It just looks It looks like isolation gameplay, <laughs> which isn't a bad thing, but it's like it's not exactly <laughs> something. I don't know. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is so freaking uninspired, though, too. Like, it feels, it feels like the guy just, like, Look, looked at the art book. Yes, right. Like it's like okay, I'm gonna do this, 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 so people go. Oh, look! It looks like isolation. I'm curious about. Um... Isn't that cool that I reference isolation? Well, you gotta get me there because he he's basically that listening that to the fans at at this point, you know. Because but the fans have been like talking about, oh, Alien Isolation is a movie that would sell, and he's doing it. So yeah, but I don't think I, I don't think 
I don't think a main, the mainstream audience played fucking Alien Isolation. Yeah, Not only exactly. is it like, it's it's very I don't think I don't think they play most fucking Alien games, and I don't think they play one that is that, you know, kind of scary and difficult to get through. It's quite. You know find I mean? the shooters like like that too. Uh, but yeah, I mean, but I'm I curious find. about because he said it's. Uh, <laughs> He said it's. I just saw on Twitter. Then he, he has connections to all films, but I'm like, that has connection to all all of the films. That's now. what he's saying. Yeah. So it's like, what's what's this? How's he going to work in a connection to Prometheus and Covenant? Because there's not a fucking cent of it in this trailer. Well, uh, yeah. that's where the leaks come in, apparently, and we'll talk about that off. But uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah this, I don't, I don't know. know. It's... Hey, on, <laughs> You might not like what he's gonna do if it becomes true, which I doubt it. But I don't know. It's Disney now, so it's possible. Yeah, yeah. It's fucking Disney. Yeah, so. uh, that's not, not hating on Disney, just being Disney. Just how they run it, the stuff. Good spaceship. Kind of what do the clothes look like? Yesterday was like it has the possibility of being good, right? Like, like this is going to be it, right? Like, and then as soon as it comes out. Alien Cope is what the Jack wrote in the in the Discord. I was like, oh my god. I haven't even seen the trailer yet. But I just saw the I just saw the thumbnail. I'm like, yeah, this the looks clothes. Pretty. I'm looking at the clothes to see if it the looks... 70s inspired. Eh, I'm not really seeing it. I'm not seeing any big bubble fonts. She's just, uh... You might just be talking about the movie, like the actual like stuff that like we didn't see yet, which I have a feeling that he's gonna have like some of that it, in there because remember mm. that like this station is called the Romulus, by the way. That is the reason why it's called Alien Romulus. Yeah, well, it, it's like the ships, isn't it? Like Prometheus yeah. Covenant are all ships on. He's following that tradition. There's a yeah. geezer and there's a zero G yeah. shot, and there's a geezer in like a hazmat suit that's floating around. That looks like the hazmat suits that yeah. the uh, working Joes wear in isolation. It's hard to see his face, but it looks a little bit android-like. Might just it might just be oh, a guy, but it kind of yeah. looks like because at first I thought his eyes were glowing, like the androids. But it's the the working Joes. But uh, that'd be cool. I'd like to see some working Joes. Oh, oh, actually, yeah. In live Wait. action, there might be some work. They there. have those suits on in the in the reactor level because they talked about it. Well, they might. Yeah, it's more it white. Be, I, I don't know. I'm I'm not seeing much detail in the face, but that'd be cool to see a working Joe. Yeah, but. I mean, yeah, yeah it's like yeah, uh, his outfit's a little bit more grayish white. Yeah. The light's flashing makes it look orange, but, you know, it's like basically gray. So, who knows? Maybe it, maybe oh, yeah, it is. Oh, yeah, they are white in the game, aren't they? They're not orange. But, yeah, I guess it, could, it still could be. Fuck it. Mm. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I just. Maybe, maybe where where do you even go with Alien? That's the whole point. It's the same thing with Jurassic Park. It's like, where do you fucking go? Because it's like. You can either do little like stuff like this, or seemingly what this is going to be, which is like a one-off little. People go here, aliens mm. attack. Uh oh, that's about it. Or you can start to like chip away at the at the the periphery of this universe and like go. Well, what about this? Let's go off in this direction a little bit, which is what Ridley did with David and all that sort of stuff. Okay. Which I, I've been on record. I'm closing this trailer down, by the way. I, I know you can't see it, but I'm sick of seeing it now. That's good. Oh, very good. Trailers, all right, whatever. <laughs> but like, I'm on record saying. Uh, <laughs> I've kind of gone, I've, I've gone back and forth on it, like this whole idea of the alien is an eldritch horror from the void of the dark deep space that is unexplainable and unknowable to man. And I've kind of liked that gist. And then there's the also the whole it's a creation and it's 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 like it's part of this. It's this a giant legacy mushroom. of creation. Mm. Could be a mushroom. Uh, yeah, and I've could, gone, eh, could, could but then of, of late, I've kind of gone, like, it's it's all well and good to say that it is an unexplainable thing and it should never have an origin and it should be, it just comes out of the void to terrorise like a fucking uh, Lovecraftian monster. But then you look at the ship that it comes off and it looks exactly like the alien's body. Every part of that juggernaut, the crashed ship mm. in the first alien film and the space jockey itself... It, it's all made of the same stuff as the fucking alien. It's all tubes and biomechanics and all stuff. Like, there is a connection there. Yeah, it's like It tight. doesn't come from nowhere. It's part of that fucking system. So it makes sense, and it makes sense thematically. It sounds like the Xenomorph. Exactly. Planet. It makes sense thematically because it's like a crea the whole film is about creation and motherhood and, and failed abortions and fucking 
false pregnancies and, and all that horrible stuff. And and Ash Ash is the AI who turns against his creator. This alien turns against its creator and all that. It does it does kind of fit. I think Prometheus and Covenant do have problems, and Ridley gets like gets bogged down in his own. He gets mired in his own mythology, and he gets a bit too. Oh, Jesus was a Jesus was a Prometheus, and a fucking and all this stuff, which I know they didn't. Uh, that was the original intention, and like they created us, and there's there's, yeah. there's a lot of stuff about it. That I'm like eh, but for the most part, you know, I'm not going to say no to it's David because he's just too. It's too fun. It's too fun. <laughs> a fucking, a, a, yeah, a malfunctioning that, android with a god complex on some moon out in the middle of space, cutting his bleach blonde hair to go and, the man who broke the bank at Monte Carlo. I'm not going to not like that. You know what I mean? It's too good. <laughs> Thinks he's fucking T. Lawrence. Uh, it's too good. I'm, I'm having too much fun. <laughs> as much as I'd like to criticise it and say the alien, you know, he ruined alien. I don't believe he didn't. I can't. No, I can't hear no, really, Scott. Yeah. It is like, yeah. I I really enjoyed Covenant. As to, you know, like the first time I actually saw it with my family. I, I went there and my dad was like, "So, what do you think about this movie?" I was like, "Oh yeah, I, I like it." You know, even though I'm like thinking about the you know gory scenes and I'm like, "Oh, you know what? It's kind of awesome." <laughs> but then I, as I got home, I heard that the reviews are in and they're like, uh, "Oh, Alien Covenant was like shit or something." I was like, uh, maybe not, but, you know, it's mm. quite good, you know, for some Yeah, it's, uh, but it just, it wasn't the wrong review. It was just little stuff that, yeah, that I, I don't like. know. But, yeah, but um, it's not really that bad, you know, it's not, it's not the worst things you, you, you ever seen, you know, it's like, there's some, there's some good scenes in there, like some horror scenes, like the actual complex of the characters, like, especially when they're like, you know, like couples, right? They're like couples going yeah. to another, another you know, freaking planet to actually civil two by two to live a civilized yeah. world. Yeah, two it's, by two, like to 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 conquer them and destroy their planets. Yeah, it is. It is it's pretty <laughs> interesting. It is pretty interesting. The colonial. I, I, I love, I love all the um, yeah, like the gothic, the gothic Frankensteinian sense to it with the whole Percy, the court and Percy Bysshe Shelley, the court and Byron. You oh. can't beat that, like. The, that, that proper heavy gothic vibes and it's it's just wonderful i love all that stuff uh ralph in the chat says yeah. it's hard to be excited about a film when disney has made so many legacy sequels that are complete garbage i can understand that perspective yeah yeah i'm not really that fussed about yeah f like for example star wars or whatever i don't, I don't watch it but i understand well i mean the, the star wars is of the past yeah. empress yeah. industries I, I get... sorry man I'm excited. The little we've seen so far yeah. looks good to me. Certainly has me looking forward to the film. Yeah, I mean, I'll probably see it. But uh, I mean, the... give give it like two more trailers. You know? Yeah, that was just. This... I'm not going to give it any more trailers. But... <laughs> yeah. Alex says. I mean, just Alex I mean, if Ridley work. Scott saw it and liked it, and James Cameron, what did he say? James Cameron and Ridley Scott well, both liked it, but they gave different notes, which was fascinating. He said that's yeah, fascinating. Exactly. I don't think it's fascinating at all. They're very different filmmakers. No, it's not fascinating. He just has a different. They just have different, like a uh, uh, ret retro. James Cameron's part. notes will have been: it should have a happy ending. <laughs> it should have a happy ending, yeah, and the main character happy. should end up as a mother at the end, and everything should be great. And Ridley Scott. And they should do twenty more, more, more. years. Yeah. Ridley Scott would have been like. It uh, should take twenty years guys have to make the sequel. Yeah. It'll take uh, 20, 15 years and to make the like, next one. When you so, release the Blu-ray, you know, make sure you DNR it to I'll fuck. It. And it's waxy as hell. That's what he'll have said. <laughs> <laughs> Here we've got Mike in the chat. Mike's in the chat. He says, oh, Hey, Sicky, just watch the trailer. I'm looking forward to it, but it can't surpass the best alien movie in the franchise. Resurrection. Right. Another ban. I'm just going to go ahead and ban that I account. Agree. That's Mike banned for good. Yeah, from man with taste there. No. No. No, no he's staying. Resurrection. He's staying. Killer Resurrection's type. <laughs> Resurrection's <laughs> like a laugh to watch. No, it's not. I, I, I can, I, I can well, enjoy it's it. It's wonderful. There's, there's... It has an amount. It has, it has a great amount of talent so and over. charm. In it has its merits. The two. The, the oh, you mean the Navy guy? You mean the marine guy is like, oh, that's sick. Oh. <laughs> Wait, which one is that one? Uh... 
name you gotta again? give me a name, or else I'm not gonna know. Uh, ah, the freaking the actor who played Tuco. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Distafano, uh, or what yeah, it was called? Uh, Distafano, I think it's called. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I can't believe really yeah, remember. Yeah. 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 My freaking favorite character in the resurrection. <laughs> Alien Romulus. <laughs> just just giggity about everything. <laughs> what up, man? Yeah, that's tight. That's tight. <laughs> that's tight, man. <laughs> tight, tight, tight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> but, yeah. The power of breaking bad. Talk, uh, yeah. <laughs> Tuco Salamanca in freaking resurrection uh, yeah, there's a lot of cool people on that one <laughs> it just seems it seems to me sorry i'm just on my own little uh, world here it seems to me on the face of what we've just seen there which wasn't a lot granted i'll give you that that it's like it's 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 like it's we're going back to basics we're going back to alien and all that which is is all right in theory but alien is very like alien's a special film because it is a b movie it is is a group of is a group of people. They're they're gonna get Precisely. killed. They're gonna get picked off one by one. It's Texas Chainsaw Massacre and fucking Freddy. You know what I mean? Uh, Jason. Yeah. Jason. What's that fucking film called? Friday yeah, the Thirteenth. Yeah, it's 13th. a slasher film, is what you're trying to say. Yeah, it's like it's like a classic slasher. You pick them off one by one, and that was very much his inspiration. Ridley. It was like right. I want to make Texas Chainsaw Massacre in space because that is scary as fuck. But he was very clever about it. Yeah, it's He was very tactful. He was very artful about it, and it. It transcended that. This looks like it's gonna fall purely into like this is this is just teenagers getting killed off one by one, and it's like it could it could still yeah. be a fun little watch, but it's not it's not it's not eh, eh, you know what I mean? It's not as I said before. It's not it's not touching on any bigger ride. It's not expanding things from the look of it. I don't I, I don't see it doing oh, that. My, well, I'm, well, I'm, well, I'm talk about it later though because this is. So, like, Disney has this way of, 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 you know, like, experimenting with its stuff. Because it's heavily budgeted. Well, well. I think the, you know, I think it's about, uh, like, $97 million is their budget. So, there was a lot of room to play around with. But, even still, yeah, if this movie succeeds, then they're going to make more of these. Because that's a good <laughs> That's what they're doing with Prey right now, because like, Prey was so well <laughs> yeah. received. That makes me laugh. That they're gonna have people Prey like on. Prey because it was a charming little one-off, little self-contained story that did something different with the format, whatever. Uh, yeah, well, 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 get ready for World now. We're doing ones. Prey two, Prey three, Prey well, four, Prey five. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like you kind of defeat. That's not what. That's not yeah. what was special about it. That much. Anyway. It's going to be in different time periods. <laughs> yeah, well, people have been saying that for years. Haven't they? Every like, time. We want, a, we want a Japanese, the amount of fucking Japanese feudal Japan predator films <laughs> and artwork and deviant art that I've yeah, seen over exactly. the years. Yeah. Christ. Yeah, exactly. Like, feudal Japan. Yeah, I want, just want to see. Start, like in World War II or Vietnam. Egypt. Or... Fucking uh, Wild Ancient West. Yeah, doing exactly. Wild West. Like, Stick them up. And it's like a predator. That's... That's what dance. They want to do. He's saying dance. No, you better dance. Do. You better dance, predator. It's just like it's just you don't need to see it. You get the get the idea. Save it for the comics. It's like I watched a fan film recently, and yeah. it was uh, it was fucking World War One, and it was it was well made. It was well right. made, but it was and that's uh, going to be prey. Yeah, I don't know. It's just like, do you really need to fucking see a predator killing fucking people in the in the trenches of World War One at the Somme? Fucking hell. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. The I've one thing you need it, to yeah. do is, is make a Predator film in the future. Like the future city. They've got the law, if you've ever played Concrete Jungle. I like Concrete Jungle storyline. It's very out it's very it's outrageous, but that's perfect for Predator, because Predator is it's a it's a silly, it's a schlocky over the top thing. It's not it's not like Alien. Alien's more serious. But uh Right, yeah. But sure. uh in the co- concrete jungle he has this future. It it travels. It time hops a bit. So some of it is set in the fifties, which I know I was just kind of shitting on. But then it goes into the future, and it's it's called <laughs> Neo, Neonopolis, and it's like if if like a classic cyberpunk city, and the predator you play as the predator, and there's a cool, there's a really like vibrant gangs, and like there's the gangs who are like reggae themed gangs, and it's like the Jamaicans, and then there's the zombie 
themed gang they were like, <laughs> like skulls and voodoo themed and all that shit sounds like Predator yeah, it, yeah it's like it, it leaps off from that and in Predator 2 in the background the city it's not really clear in the film but Los Angeles is being built mm -hmm. and it's like massive skyscrapers that they actually did a map for like it's not just it's not just the city as it was in 1990 they actually painted in huge fucking super tall skyscrapers as if it's on its way to becoming this Neonopolis. So I think they could do something with that. And it's like, I, th I just think it would be cool. Instead of like cowboys and cowboys and fucking medieval knights with swords and fucking, you know, revolvers. They, they don't sell anymore, Sicky. What yeah. sells is like simple, his like simple storylines and where one of them just dies and then the other comes out victoriously and they put out a, a like a bigger badder predator yeah if they're for always they always have fucking upgrade stuff don't they and apparently well it's it might be a bit spotty apparently they're doing that with this like you remember the face huggers now they're even more scary they're all they're, they're already scary Whoa. remember the remember the uh they're i don't know they're 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 they're, they're doing like some new variations what i've been so i've been how, told yeah i bet how many variations are we, do we have now like we have the normal face huggers and then we have the queen face hugger from the Elite royal Free, face hugger, and which to be honest i don't even like the idea of that so, sort of combination between both because there's like they're like blacker or we something have the right prometheus one which was oh, the prometheus uh, the huge yeah. giants the, the, the freaking oh, the, giant the starfish trial or whatever. well they, they can do it because it's they're trying yeah. to yeah they're trying, trying to establish it some kind of cycle to it and origin so they can kind of get away with it but even yeah. that like if you look at if you look at those films teacher. how many bloody fuck there's like the neomorphs they should give them wings. neomorphs protomorphs <laughs> how many bloody morphs do you need it's too many well, but those are from fungus yeah yeah those are from the spores so oh, right. the yeah, black goo that. yeah the black neomorphs. Ooze. yeah yeah, yeah. The black tar yeah, and then also the new Mars, like, they're different in design as well, I think, from different people. Like, um, wh who's the guy that got um, the new morph in the, inside the ship uh, that got blown up? And then there's also the other one that just spews the new morph out, like, you know, from the, from it, from the mouth. They, the, both both of the new Mars have different sort of designs. I think they, one of them has like a row of spikes, while the other doesn't. Oh. So it's kind of. I just thought. I just thought they were, they're, they're, they're the big white ones, aren't they? The white ones with the little arsehole mouths. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that. Yeah, yeah. New Mars are what they're called. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's like yeah. blowing it. The, what is it? Blowing it. Blowing a horse's nostrils, and it'll blowing a horse's nostrils. Blowing the nostrils of horse, and, uh, and it will be yours yeah. for life. Yeah, we are planning to shoot some. Why would you do that? Well, it, it really just killed somebody. Yeah. Like, someone on his team. Like, just, yeah. I can't get enough of that. It it really stupid not that David it. character is just so He's not going to kill you, so there's... You're an android. Yeah. I think, oh, I think a lot of that is just Ridley going, let's get some cool aliens going, designs and shit. I don't know. He just likes designing stuff, doesn't he? Well, but, yeah. You didn't want to do Xenomorphs, right? The fans... Fans were like, no, we should have that rally. And then what happened is that they ultimately hated Covenant for having a Xenomorph. Again, quote unquote, him like being the original creator, which he's not. The movie confirms he's not. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's it's just. Yeah. Stories from He's just movie. making his own Story. copies. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's just a plagiarist. He's a big plagiarist. That's all yeah. David is. Yeah, he's, he's, uh, he's trying. It's, yeah. Again, it all, it all goes. He is the All Prometheus. Goes back to Prome yeah, exactly. Prometheus, Frankenstein. It's all that, isn't it? He's <laughs> he's jealous of his creator for. Yeah, he, yeah, yeah. But he is the fire thief. Like, well, that that is what the movie gets across, and the people are like, oh no, it's still dumb. It's like they're not saying he made them. He's not. Yeah, that's just people who've not paid attention. But I mean, he's it's not the space it job. is kind yeah, of easy to miss. Well, I, I mean, subtlety is dead though too. So I can't like those people. It's, it's completely understandable for them to get that. To get that like uh, that like feeling of it, like or like how it's being like shown to you, right? Music. So so I get that. Mm -hmm. But but uh, yeah, it's a. Uh, 
Well, the, yeah, it's, obviously it is called it's called about. Prometheus, but I've always maintained that the film wants you to think, haha, Prometheus. The Prometheus uh, parallel in the story is the ship with the scientists going on the scientific overreach to steal to find the forbidden knowledge, but it's not the Prometheus parallel. It's <laughs> actually trying to tell you about is the humans overreach in creating David. He's the he's the figure that mm -hmm. is central to it. It's right. not these people are going and fucking with aliens. It's these people have already fucked up by making David. And then he then takes it on himself yeah. and starts doing his own creations. It's all very, it's all very, uh, it goes, it, it, it's in a loop. It's a, Life is in a loop. An extremely pretentious. No, I, li I like it. Extremely, extremely, it's just, extremely pretentious. But that's what it's Alien really is. just Ridley Scott so doing so like, classics, it's, it's, which is what he yeah, always exactly. does. It's in Blade Runner. It's uh, like Blade Runner is all that sort of stuff. Yeah. It is very Romulus and Remus, to be honest. Like brothers. One has to die, yeah. I'm completely buzzed out about Romulus. I just forgot everything. Yeah. Just in a few seconds. I mean, I think so, we got like, the gist, it's... haven't we? I might watch it once more. Yeah. It's not I idea. might watch it, give it another little watch. I'm not going to watch then, anything. Uh, I think I think I'll probably... I'm going to watch there. anything. I'm... Yeah, I think I'm done. Like, I think this is it. Like, it didn't sell well. It looks like Jack's out, which... That's a huge surprise. It looks like what? <laughs> because I... It looked like Jack was out though. I, like when I saw the, uh, I, like when I went into the, uh, the, uh, you know, like the Alien channel. Oh, he was LB calling Alien or, or whatever. All oh, right. Oh well. Hey, what? And he was calling like, he was calling like, you know, he was calling like a like bland slop or whatever. I was like, <laughs> okay, well I haven't seen the trailer yet. I'm gonna look at it right. He like, called. Like, he was oh. calling this slop. <laughs> yeah. 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 He calls this bland slop, and I get where he's coming from. It's. Be but also, though, too, it's because I think he wanted there to be an actual story. And it, it doesn't oh, seem books. like there might not be one he's too interested in. Is there a name? Which is understandable. Sorry, I'm going back through the trailer. Yeah, no, I know what he means. I get it. Yeah. Oh, that that's what that reminds he, me of. You know, I said there's a ship that remind, looks familiar to me. It looks like the landing yeah. landing craft at the end of Covenant. In Alien? No, at the end of Covenant. Like the, It oh. looks like a similar shape with it. Oh, kind yeah, of flat yeah, with the engines yeah, at the back. Yeah. A little yeah. bit. I thought there was a name visible on this ship at the, at the very first shot, but I, I can't quite make it out. There's a big D4, funny. it says. It's a, if it's David's ship. Yeah. <laughs> if, if David's ship and he's just dead, we find him dead in the, uh, in the movie. And then you, they just found like a, some freaking face hugger eggs inside his throat. I don't think it's a spoiler to say... <laughs> That we we isn't it is it known that the scavengers that come across the ship or is that not known? Scavengers come yeah, come across the ship. Because given the description, I think. Is it? Uh, huh. Oh, let's have a look. Yeah, let's read this. I think it is the chapter first. Like, don't fully quote me on that. Uh, the sci-fi horror thriller takes it doesn't, definitely no, it, doesn't, it doesn't say anything. But I've heard that there's scavengers who come across a, a derelict ship, and much like on the sea, it's yeah. like if you find it, you get to you get the scrap scrap rights on you. The the scav what's it called? Scavengers rights, so they can. Oh, it's like an alien. It's like the yeah, company, that, that's mentioned, right? isn't it? So that's I mean that's kind of a cool yeah. idea. Yeah, it's a cool, like, like it's a, yeah, it's a cool it's a tie-in. Like, oh, what? if that is true. And I've been told that they're, uh, they're, they're from another colony, or something like that, right? Like, and they're trying to, they're, they're like trying to get help or whatever because they're, they're low on supplies. All oh, right. That was what I was. Uh, and it all goes wrong. You know, I have been told you know, like, and they're a bunch of kids. Or whatever, right? like, and they have like two or like four guardians or something. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I'm reading this description for the uh, trailer right now. It's like while scavenging the deep ends of the derelict space station, a group of young space. Oh, oh it's right there. I did. I didn't even see that. Scav so scavenging yeah, the deep. Cool. Yeah. Derelict. Oh, right. There you go then. Yeah. There you go. Huh. <laughs> Spot the shit out of it. Eh? <laughs> like people find it. That f sounds like some maritime thing familiar to me. I don't know why. Like people discover a, a, a ship adrift, and they think we're going to make money here. Well, that, I think that's well, a lot that of stuff. Happens. That isn't it? That, I feel like that's a lot of stuff. That that's like a huge part of the aliens thing. Is oh my god, we just found something, 
It's yeah. potentially it's, profitable. Given we got like make. something literary. I'm getting like a literary reference from somewhere, but I don't know what. Oh, the, from the, uh, the from the sense of scrapping and scavenging. Yeah, it's probably from um, when Ridley. Yeah, it's from the first movie. I think when they're talking about it. Yeah. Uh, when they're, when they're like talking about the 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 ship they found. Yeah, I mean it's it's uh, yeah, the, um, it's, when they find the derelict. Oh, I hope that's a working jaw. That'll be class. That'll be the one thing that I'd like to see. I mean, if he's doing an alien isolation, he's got the save station in the in the film. He's got the the labs. He's got the level design. He's got to have a working jaw. Or were they? Yeah, is, right. Like, or at least some variation of it. They maybe they were only deployed on Sevastopol, though. I can't remember because there were a sieg sieg. No, 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 no. They're a, they are like an actual like a thing in the alien. Uh, the no, no, but I'm saying because even I, in the game, I don't think. They, I don't yeah. think Will and Yutana used them because it was a rival company. They were made by Siegson, and the Sevastopol was Siegson. Right. So they might not they might not get one. Depends what this space station is. Yeah, well, we don't know what Romulus is. I think it's got a big Will and Yutani logo on it. Sure. Their ship has got Will well, and, Will and Yutani. Although I suppose they're just they're making okay. it all on it. The ship. Yeah, anyone can take a ship. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I don't, I'm trying to see if there's any Will and Yutani logos on the spaceship. You gotta turn out of brightness. No, that, that that's the only way you're gonna have to see the freaking plot hole. <laughs> Didn't think about that. Who has working Joe's plot hole because it's a yeah. company. If it's a whale and Gitani space station and they have Siegs and robotics, it don't make sense. But they could just write something. So, oh well, there you go. That was yeah, that. Yeah. That was that trailer. They're gonna reestablish a whole bunch of the canon, like how they're doing with the new Alien comics. Oh, I I what if Bert know. survived? What if what if what if Bert survived aliens? Well, if, well, like, well, like it probably would suck. <laughs> what if Bert survived aliens? So what is he gonna do? The freaking the freaking more. He's got nuked. <laughs> Ralph says, yeah, "All I know is the first two Alien movies are peak. I love them so much. Yeah, they're the best ones. The Alien, the first what, what, first what, Alien is my is my favorite what, one, yeah. without what, a doubt. What, what about Alien Three? Like, um, Alien is like a masterpiece, I think. And I think I think Aliens oh, yeah, is a very, very great film. But it's more, it's very, it's very Cameron. <laughs> I mean, it, this is probably the more sensible thing that you could do for a sequel to Alien. But it's very different. It's action, it's it's Marines, it's, you know, it's right, hoorah. Yeah. It's like, everything about it is, is, is very different, I would say. Even just to like the... The performances, the acting style. Yeah, it's, it, Alien is very naturalistic. The crew feel like you're just watching a real crew. It's fucking weird. Like they they speak they over just, each other and like they they like they they speak quietly. They're off screen talking. They're looking around. It feels so like natural. And then you cut to aliens and they're all going like coming up with quips and one liners and uh, fucking I don't know. Well, I, well, every Alien movie after that follows that. It's very too. American. It's very James so Cameron. Like, well, I changed yeah. it. Which I mean, it just shows the difference between Alien and Aliens, and also the other movies after that. You know, because Alien just feels more like a documentary at that point. I know that you know the freaking camera motion doesn't really sell that, it, but the the grittiness of like the scene alien itself, you're on about. and just see, yeah, yeah, I'm talking about Aliens, like the gritty sort of moodies or lighting yeah, and shit like that. It's, it's like dark. You it's Texas see Chainsaw anything. Massacre in space, and that is. That's for for the same reasons is that's why that's probably the greatest horror film because it is so, it is so like slow and it, it goes on too long, the scenes go on too long and right. it sets you on edge because it's not like what a normal film does. It's so slow, and so like off off kilter and like like I say it just it it takes its time but then some. It's so weird and it, unsettling and it feels like you're literally watching real people and that's that's its magic. Aliens is great, but yeah, it's not. Yeah. It doesn't have any of that. You just feel like you're watching a big American film with American actors doing some acting. You know what I mean? And it's great, but it, <laughs> it doesn't affect me in the same way. We got fucking Hicks going. Game yeah, over, man. Sort of thing. Every five minutes. I don't know. Right. <laughs> it's just different. I mean, Hudson. Both of them are completely different. Hudson. <laughs> yeah. It's their directorial style of how they do films, and you can yeah, tell. Cameron is. Which one is different? all of Cameron's stuff is like mm 
Ridley, it's like uh, proper like Hollywood. Rid- that's like the one thing I like about Ridley. Oh yeah, but the Ridley, uh, the when he did Covenant and Prometheus, yeah. he kind of changed the dynamic up with like with his new uh, yeah, but you know, that's characters. Really, really con- and... Ridley's films vary yeah. from style. Like like he does have some films that are naturalistic, right? But he has some films that are very monolithic in their acting style, like you know, like Gladiator yeah. and stuff like that. That's very like it's very oh, yeah, like. Gladiator. It's monolithic. It's, it's that style, which you know they're both. I oh, love yeah, both styles, but we're also getting uh, the Gladiator too. That's that's happening. Yeah, we'll have to. Uh, yeah. I keep forgetting about that. We'll have to do something for that trailer as well. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know. It'd be like less than How long have we been on for now? No idea. Let's have a little look. I'm not watching our stream, so I don't know if our audio quality is good or not. Uh... But I don't care. I had a fun time uh, listening to last time stream. Oh, yeah. Because, boy, do I uh, get talkative about certain stuff. And I just love how we talked about... We all, all equally agreed that Jared Leto sucked. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're talking about... Yeah. Love that. Yeah, that was, that was funny, that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Jared Leto. Yeah, from the Planet of the Apes. Uh, two, two, 2005 was Planet of the Apes with, with Tim Curry. Yeah. I love that. That's like the best like joke movie I've ever come up with. It wasn't even intentional. Who, Tim Cur- yeah, Who even said Tim Curry? Like I don't remember that. I don't even. I don't no, know. I did. No, I did by mistake instead of Tim Burton. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. Tim Curry. <laughs> yeah, that's funny though. Curry's War, Planet of the Apes. Tim Curry's Planet of the Apes. Yeah, yeah, it's getting beat up by Munch. Yeah, that'd be class. Hey, I love Tim Curry, me. You got, you got always welcome. Always oh, yeah, welcome to too. a little bit of Tim Curry. The poor guy. Yeah, Tim Curry's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Such a lovable guy. Tim Curry, how does he? He's just got one of them voices, hasn't he? Oh. Yeah, he uh, does. Yeah, the. the uh, Freaking, <laughs> yeah, like I don't know. <laughs> Alien and Aliens. I am Tim Curry. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like that. I'm trying to think if it's in like space. In space. <laughs> and then he'd be like, uh, uh, like Nigel Thornberry or something like that. Oh yeah, I don't know. Who that is. He's got some. Smashing. He's got some, got some yeah, roles exactly. in his belt. Like that. that was Tim. Oh, he does. He's got a lot. Alien and aliens are very yeah. different, I think he does but they com- complement each other very well. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that. Yeah, I mean, we're not saying bad things about alien and aliens being different. If you just we're did, just saying that. If, oh, yeah. if you just did the same thing again, it would probably look mm-hmm. a bit like what we've just watched tonight. It would look like that. Yeah, like, doesn't, doesn't yeah, quite, yeah, doesn't yeah, quite exactly. uh, slake your thirst for more alien. Maybe that's just me. But uh, yeah, yeah, because yeah. even even Fincher. Right. You also got to remember that too. There's a guy that made it, right? Who? The this like new director or whatever, right? Like, he, he thinks that. At least like when it came off to me is that like he thinks he's he's gonna be able to make his own alien, right? Like he's gonna mm-hmm. be able to actually make something that's gonna going to be embedded into what people like, right? Which is more so likely gonna be the case. <laughs> I think a lot of people are going to think that like no, this is okay. Hmm. Oh, am I cutting out? Biggie? Or what? No, not for okay. me. But, um, okay, but like, yeah, it's going to be in that case and where the pe- people think this is going to be good. They're going to like things about it, right? Like the, but it's not going to. It's not going to withhold like what every other alien film has done, right? Like he's trying, he is trying uh, to go back to a style in which. The newer films haven't really been like the going towards, so he's mm. trying to reinvent. He's trying to reinvent Alien for, I guess, you know, like the new age. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Which, like, by the way, my, uh, the new audience, right, has not cared about Alien since Covenant. Oh no, they don't. They don't give a fuck. Yeah, because they okay, the people like this. This. It's been about the people like this film is for is your average people who just go to see slashes and shit like that. Like, whoa, aliens! Bleh. They right, have, they don't exactly. give a fuck about David. They don't. Right. They don't. They don't think. They've never thought about yeah, those films. Exactly. 
they just I mean? want stupid shit. And that's yeah, probably exactly. why they'll make loads of money, and that's probably why they'll make loads more. Oh yeah, and it's because of the kills. It's okay, it's gonna be the kills. It's it, it's gonna be the cool stuff or, or like whatever they make for it. Yeah, the, the new, the brand like brought, new, yeah. the two-headed xenomorph with like a cyclops. Like, I've already heard them try to market the film by saying like something so disgusting happened on set that people were throwing up. Oh yeah, yeah people yeah. were throwing up on this film. Oh, really? People had to leave. Yeah, and it's because of the face that's, that's the yeah, sort of thing yeah, they're going yeah, for by the sound of it. Yeah, it's the face that they're talking about. Uh, I don't know. Mm. It's a new face hugger or something. I don't know. That's what it sounds like to me. But then it's like, uh, literally, it's gonna be uh, literally similar. earlier on today, I heard the exact same thing about this, that a film coming out called Smile 2, which is another horror film. Somewhat so disgusting and gory, oh, people threw up. All right, all right. I can get Smile. Like... Smile has a lot of allegories. If I want to be fucking sick, like, I'll just take an emetic. Like you know really what I mean? Anyway. <laughs> right, yeah, exactly. Or just don't watch the movie. And that's, no. you know, Alien. You can't Alien had a lot. Alien had seen a famous, very famous scene that caused a similar effect, but that was nestled within this great fucking world and story. Uh, I don't know if I don't know right. if anything else, these are going to get the balance right, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if he... he... I don't know. It's fifty-fifty with him. Like I, I don't don't breathe was okay, but yeah, I didn't. I wouldn't really call that his best. I didn't work. see because it, it looked boring. So... I didn't watch it. Uh oh. Oh yeah, exactly. And it's like, oh, it's blind guy that. You gotta be quiet. It's another one of them. You know, it's like sensory alone. deprivation films. You know, we had we had uh, uh, what was the fucking one called? You, they had one where you couldn't have, you couldn't see with a blindfold. Sandra Bullock. Yeah, he had box. one way, yeah, one way you can't box. make any noise. Quiet place. Quiet place. Yeah. Where quiet don't place. breathe, you can't speak again. Uh oh, we got to be quiet. Yeah. What they're gonna do next? Mm. You can't smell. Don't smell. Don't smell. You like that? Okay. Don't smell. Yeah. Don't yeah, smell. Like in some trail, like a <laughs> world, <laughs> to a monster. Yeah. Don't in a, in a world, you. in a world, where smells kill. <laughs> don't smell. Oh my God, we're gonna get out of here Some... quick. You lot, follow me. Don't smell. What are the senses have they got? Fucking, there's only, how many senses are there? Six. We've done eyes. Six, We've done ears. Do we don't taste. Touch. People getting cheese. People taking like yeah, sulfuric acid on their tongues. You can't taste in a world where you can't don't, taste. All the aliens get you. Don't. Don't taste. It's probably going to be filled with some freaking dumb people. It's like. <laughs> don't taste that and then gonna taste in a, it. <laughs> yeah, it's like candy, in a it's world so where all food is like cyanide don't taste what other senses are there don't where the word the word coming up with some great ideas it was, Two, we should pitch these up three. to hollywood right now taste i mean sight, if i have the smell, number <laughs> hearing yeah well fucking don't listen don't listen do not listen to their chatting. They're gonna come for us. I don't know. But uh, like... we're going, going, uh, we're going back to what I was saying. We're sorry to cut you <laughs> off the visual. But uh, yeah, I kind of see, yeah, like a sense of fault positivity that like this might actually end up <laughs> a lot greater than it is. Mm -hmm. They'll get like I, I see that audience coming in right away. But I, I don't, uh, I'm, not, I'm not blown away by it. The general audience really, they don't really care about. They don't care about Alien, <laughs> and it's clear in the box office, right? Like, and that's why this budget was so low, right? Like, that's why it's it's a heavy budget film. This is just this is just ultimately like oh, uh, it's like the final test. Like, if this doesn't do well, well then they're yeah, of course they're not going to make anymore. Yeah, they're just trying. To they're going to hold this. Right? Yeah, it's going to go back on the shelf where it belongs, right? That's because sick, yeah. They're not optimistic about these right. things, you know. Like, uh, like they were really surprised that like Prey got liked. Okay, like that was also why too that they didn't do theater too, is because if they did theater, HBO Max right like has like a lot of the has a lot of the rights right like to like stream a lot of the Fox properties, it, and it counts as a Fox property since uh, the, it was before the merger or the quote unquote buyout, right? So yeah. like. They they would have got the streaming rights first before Hulu did. So, so that's why they did Hulu, though, as well. 
because hmm. feels like what I read about recently. So this is going to be very interesting what the general reception will be and if this know. will make like a past covenant. I've got no I've got no idea and I don't think anyone in charge does. Nobody knows what's going on. Nobody knows what people want. None of the execs know what people want. Something that could be amazing. Oh, well, turns out shit. I mean, the exec is like Bob Iger, right? Like in the few like chairheads that yeah, uh, Bob Iger. They keep like bringing back people. No, I, it's, it's okay to to like knock him a bit though. But, but that guy can completely understands like like what Disney is and what the industry is. It's just tired. You don't want to be CEO again. I don't care. Right, I need to do some like, chat reads. Yeah, exactly. He wanted money. Got Empress back in the chat. He says, "I love Alien Three. Great creature design. Fantastic score. Yeah, oh, I love yeah. that film. Yeah, the special edition. The special well, edition. about Alien Three now. Yeah, exactly. uh, Ralph Ace says that's the other thing. I'm not sure how many people actually care about another Alien film. Yeah, we just covered that, and we agree. Yeah, exactly. I was always Most talking about. Don't give a fuck. Yeah, they just want a new Five Nights at Freddy's yeah. or whatever the yeah. whatever the whatever it's is the rage now. What? Ralph, he says, Alien is iconic, but that I don't mean that's the rage. But that doesn't mean that people are begging for another one. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I'm just the more the more more stuff that gets released. I just I always think just make it the first film and they should have stopped. I don't know, I don't know. No, no, because Aliens the other ones are all right, but it's just it's yeah. the world is so fucking different now. It's like, is it even? It's 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 even. It's like impossible for them to make something good. It's almost impossible. Uh, uh, it's all about the right people. Yeah, and they're all fucking it's, dead. It's they're all fucking dead or dying. Movie. Sorry. No. There's been a few. Yeah, exactly. Right, I get what you mean. Uh, it's like that. Yeah. But there's possible for new light to come in. Like, uh, where we have Godzilla minus one, you know, like, you know, like nobody heard about this like director, right? Like, and he did like a lot of like like lesser stuff over there. Yeah, which was like well received or whatever, but like uh, it wasn't until minus one anymore. I was like, oh, and then okay. I saw that. In, this guy uh, actually yeah. understands how to I make. I saw that. An inter- a double interview where they, he was talking to Wingard, and he was like, Wingard was like, oh, your yeah. film is oh. so like, it's a really incredible film. It's very, it's, it's it tells a sophisticated story. I love the use of the period. I think it harkens back to what makes Godzilla Godzilla. What do you think of my film? <laughs> and and the, I, don't, I forget his name. And the just Japanese guy's like. Oh like yeah, I like your film is also good, and it also is very, very good at what it does about Godzilla. All right, and it was yeah, like he was mm. talking about the. Uh... <laughs> I don't know. Oh, the Godzilla X. He seemed he seemed sincere about it. Is that what he's yeah. talking about? That's right. Yeah. yeah. Oh well, the Godzilla X Kong is like is trying to be campy, because he's not trying to be oh, serious. Oh right. Okay. <laughs> yeah, because they. They, they pointed out uh, um, they were talking in that same interview that the um, Godzilla minus one is basically the sort of uh, recreation of Gojira 1954, while Godzilla as is Kong the is basically ones. the embodiment of yeah. Shawa. Yeah, I don't know. So that's why they're like. Oh, the, but fun. the thing is, it's like when you see <laughs> the old films in like the seventies and eighties do the do the campy stuff, it's good. But when you see a fucking multi because, multi yeah. million, million dollar. CGI fucking whatever the fuck that is. It just it's just I don't know. Me personally just watching on black and it's white. It's not stick. it's not the same at all. Mm-hmm. So they can say what they like, but there you go. I just glaze over. I don't know what to say. Don't know what to say. Yeah. It's not for me. But if if you know to each to We're each the role. If you like it, that's fine. But I literally would rather uh Eat my own. <laughs> I'm, I'm, a, I'm just being stupid. Life. I'm just being daft. But yeah, <laughs> it's fun. Godzilla versus Kong, wicked. Uh, yeah, Alien Romulus. I've got to say, I'm All a right. little bit deflated after that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. we're switching out of topics now. That's how. Uh... That's how bad we got. Talk about <laughs> Disney CEOs, it's you know something's gone wrong there. Yeah, yeah exactly. We're yeah, we're talking about Bob Iger. Bob control. Iger gives a fuck. Uh, Ralph says, <laughs> yeah, I can accept Bob. the movie from the nineteen sixties being cheesy. I don't think it works for modern filmmaking. Yeah, 
I mean, I like, you can still do camp, but it's just, it's like, in these examples given, it's just... Yeah, exactly. Know. There has to be some, some like, satire. It just seems right? hollow like... to me. Hollow Earth? <laughs> anyway, right. Enough, enough guns in the talk. Spider-Man is... Uh... Is there anything else we can think of about Alien? Just to keep it back on topic. Alien Romulus. No, no. We're done. Uh, we're done. I think we're all out of fumes. But yeah, about Romulus. yeah, I don't know. Yeah, because they didn't show us much. It looks extremely safe. Uh, like. Yeah, basically. It's there's no safe. further input. Mm. Yeah, it's. You know, let's just nuke this thing while we can right now. Call it a day. I mean, what? Well, yeah. It might sure. still pull some out of the bag that's like really clever and, and interesting and different, and it's not just like by the numbers. Well, yeah, that's where the leaks come in. I guess we'll talk about that off. Uh, uh, well, maybe. Off, I'm uh, kind of tired. Screen. I might just go to bed, to be honest. Yeah, you're, of... you're, you're going to go to bed, you're going to dream of Alien Romulus. Romulus. A better Alien Romulus. They're making a new Aliens yeah, game. Supposedly, back. it's a spiritual. They're making a new Aliens game. Spiritual successor to isolation. Uh, well, that's good because the the last yeah, one he did yeah. was like what dark descent, the dark descent or something. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. It's like and, a, yeah, it's like a yeah, scroll in a game. Yeah, template. Like yeah, I don't know. Template. I mean, I, and they I, made like a demon like robot thing. They made an android like hold oh. hold, hold like a oh, <laughs> hold, right, yeah. hold like a Zuno or something. Yeah, and it talks, yeah. it speaks. Like I like um, it, I love Alien Isolation. I love that game, you. just for the attention to detail that mm. they put in the like. They really gave a fuck yeah. about trying to make it look and feel yeah, it and sounds. sound like the first film. Like the whole cassette futurism, it feels nineteen seventies. The characters are all sweaty and smoking. It's great. And the idea of that, oh, we're going to make a film and it's got all of those sort of elements on paper. I'm like, yeah, like. I Sounds want to good. see. I want to see a work endure. I want to see all that sort of stuff. I want to see seeds and posters and products and all that. That sounds great. But when I see it in this, it's like, <laughs> it's like, yeah, oh yeah, that looks like. That looks like the. That looks like the game. <laughs> well, uh, yeah. I think on that note, on that bombshell. <laughs> I might uh sorry for that gent <laughs> no don't worry about it I might end things because I'm yeah. knackered and I want to go to bed I want to go to my cot yeah so, no, no, we're out yeah well, thanks thanks yeah, for joining here. me go uh yeah uh, yeah alien Romulus might be a laugh Chill with shit, yeah. what a shithole oh, well I wouldn't say that it's one <laughs> teaser you can't you can't write yeah. it off just yet I'm recording resurrection <laughs> no, Quentin Resurrection. Ron, Ron, Ron Perlman's character says what a shithole. Oh, yeah. Right. See, went over my head. Uh, yeah. yeah. No, I'm not going to call it shit right away. I mean, I could, like how just Jack said it was Alien Cope, but I can be a lot more creative than that. Sleep well, says Empress yeah. Industries. Well, Thank you very much, Empress Industries. Yeah, it's just, uh, Alrighty, it's just kind of not... It was just kind of a trailer, but I don't know. Maybe a full trailer would be better when we get a bit of story, but I don't know. There you go, Alien, yeah, the new the Alien film. Alien Signed, sealed, delivered. All right, then. See you later, everyone. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Hey, look at this. I was going to try and set this up with lighting, so it looked... Oh, fuck. It's not uh, the correct model. Hey, pretty cool, eh? I can't see uh, it. So. I'm, I'm not seeing it yet. It's delayed a little bit. Well, that's a fucking bust. I literally just broke it. It's a big xenomorph toy. There you go. It glows oh. in the dark. And it's, yeah. I was going to try and set it up so it had, like, the back. Uh, There's going to be a okay, big xenomorph shadow on the wall. Is that a uh, big... Just fucking... Nice. Just... Is that a Kenner toy? Or it's like it? a re-thingied re Kenner toy. Oh. Uh, pretty cool. That's cool. It's kind of neat, yeah. It's fucking big, look, pausable and shit. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> it's probably the most, it's the most like this thing that I own, if you know what I mean when I say that. Uh, like this thing. Buyer's remorse, let's say. I need to buy the... Alright, yeah, yeah. Because you got I the exclusive.
Yeah, all right then. Alien Romulus, that was that. We'll see what happens. See yeah. you later. Thanks for watching. Sick of tea signing out. Alrighty, everybody. Bye. How do I press now? Let's press this. See ya.